In this video, I just want to cover more thoroughly the mouse input. So we've already kind of talked about mouse input because by default, whenever you make a new program, uh, an ellipse appears that follows your mouse around. So I have a slightly modified version of the program where when I move my mouse around, this ellipse is drawn uh, with the black background, no fill, and a green stroke. And it's doing that because the X and the Y position of the ellipse is called mouse X, mouse Y. These are variables that are by default inside the P5JS language, and they're referring to the current position for the mouse X and the mouse Y. And you could use them whenever you want an object to follow it around. So it doesn't matter if it's an ellipse or, say, a rectangle. Now we're going to have a rectangle that follows the mouse around. So whatever it is, it's following the mouse at the current X and Y position. Now when you do things like a line, it starts to get a little funny. Remember, the parameters for a line are the line x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's see what happens when I have 100, 100 set as x2, y2. Notice how all these lines are starting from the same position. That's 100, 100. And the second point of the line is following me at wherever the mouse X and mouse Y is. So again, it's, it's acting kind of the same, except because there are additional parameters, it has a very different side effect. Now, there are additional mouse inputs that we could use. For example, we could use uh, P mouse X and P mouse Y. P mouse is the previous mouse X and Y location. So remember, draw is looping over and over and over again. So mouse X, mouse Y, current X and Y position, while P mouse X, P mouse Y is the previous X and Y position. Let's see what happens with this line now. Now it's almost like a drawing program. Wherever I draw, this line goes ahead and follows me. So again, a totally separate side effect all occurring from your mouse inputs here. The other mouse input that we can talk about is the mouse is pressed input. And this input can either be true or false. And basically that means whenever the mouse is clicked. And you can use this input in if statements um, or in various forms of computation where if you want things to react whenever the mouse is pressed. So we're going to cover if statements later in a later video. And we can see how to make things react if the mouse is pressed as an input. 